Hello and welcome back. This is DMAC. Uh, today I'm looking at this uh, secure fast uh, door combination lock. Uh, this belongs to Coxie's Picks. I'm sure you've heard of his channel, seen his videos. If not, I'll leave a link down there and you can have a look at that. But this is his challenge lock. Um, I say challenge lock, not in the conventional sense. It's a um, uh, pass around challenge. So I think it's a uh, stock standard uh, lock. Um, and yeah, we've got uh, Coxie's picked it, Southampton Lock Picking Club has picked it, and also uh, Nick Barker, he's also picked it, and yeah, he sent it to me. So I've got it now. Uh, we've also got uh, this letter, not to be opened, which I guess contains the uh, the code. Um, I think it's, uh, I think the idea is you sort of, you pick it and then you change it to a different code, pop that in here and, and send it on. So we'll open that uh, once I've got it picked, assuming I can get it picked. Um, so yeah, I've not had much luck really with uh, uh, combination locks since I've been picking. I think I've got a few combination padlocks and I've never been able to open them, never been able to decode them. I've got the Sparrow shim that you stick between the, the dials of the, the wheels. Um, and I've tried playing about with it for a little bit. Didn't get very far and chucked them all in the naughty box and I've kind of forgotten about it. So hopefully if I can get this picked, um, I, I assume it's still called picking or decoding, I'm not sure. But if we can get this picked, perhaps I'll go back to those after this video and uh, attempt to try and uh, yeah defeat them, get them out of the naughty box. Anyway, so yeah, secure fast door lock. So I've seen these uh, in the UK on doors. I'm sure they've got them all over the world. And the idea is that you, uh, you on the back here, underneath all this gaffer tape, which isn't normally there, um, you've got these little wheels and dials and things, and you can uh, s you know set those and put in any code you want. So we've got uh, one to zero, nine zero, uh, X, Z and Y, and then C. And I think C is the cancel button because if you press uh, the other buttons and press C, you'll hear it reset itself. So, yeah, I think if you put the combination in and you've got it wrong and you want to try again, then you press that and, and go again. So, yeah, same, same as with picking. I think the idea is that you put tension on it uh, as if you're trying to open the door and then we uh, feel for differences in these buttons and try and find the one uh, that's going to open it. So I thought what I'd do is I'll get a little bit of paper uh, put in there maybe. Um, I've got a pen as well, and then uh, I can uh, put in the, the coders that, that I think, uh, depending on which ones are stiff, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get it open. So yeah, put tension on him there. I'm just going to feel down, so they all feel the same. It all feels the same so far. That eight feels a little bit stiff. The Z does two, so I'll press press the eight. So I've taken off the tension, press the eight. So the eight is our first number. I'll go back to the beginning. So these are feel stiff, but there's like a little bit of give and then they go stiff, a little bit of give and then they go stiff, a little bit of give. And that Y feels quite stiff compared to these. So we're gonna press that one. And carry on. So oh, it doesn't matter if you take tension off; it doesn't reset like a padlock. So what if we pressed Y, eight Y, and carry on. We've already pressed the eight, so that's nice and springy. Oh, Z feels a bit. Yeah, Z definitely feels stiff. So press that one. Release the tension and press him. Uh, so yeah, I keep on thinking I've got to hold the tension there. What did I press? Z. 8, Y, Z. Z, uh, Y and 8. Okay, so uh, we'll go back to the beginning again. So they haven't changed. That's number 4. That feels a little bit stiff, but not too much. feel about the same. That four does feel a bit stiffer. Let's give him a go. Four, still not open. All right, tension on again. One, two, three, four, we've pressed. Five, 
X feels a little bit stiff. Why we've pressed. Nine feels a little bit stiff. Uh, that zero feels a little bit stiff. So what with zero, nine, and X? We'll go for X. Oh, there we go. We are open. We've got the knob to turn all the way. Uh, so what was that? That was X. So eight Y Z. Looks like a two. Z four X. That is our password. And we'll double check that. We'll press cancel. Uh, so we'll press 8YZ4X, uh, and there we go, we've got it open. I think the way that these work, it doesn't matter what combination we go in. So if I just put the, plug this in backwards, so we go cancel, put the tension on, so it's x 4 z y and 8 yeah, so that works as well. So you can put you can put that those combination of uh, numbers and letters in any order, and you'll be able to get it open. So there we go. I have solved it, and uh, I'll pop this open in a bit and see what's in there. And then of course uh, I can sign the book, pop a little DMAX sticker in there, and uh, scribble my details up there. Well, there you go. I have. Uh, popped my cherry as far as combination locks go so i think perhaps uh, as i said at the start of the video i'll um i might go back to my uh to my um combination padlocks um and see if i can uh, get where they get those open maybe um i've got newfound confidence uh, and i shall give it a go uh, thanks a lot to coxie for sending this out to the community so i'll be filling in my details i'm going to be changing the code so uh, it won't be that code when it heads to the next picker um and yeah thanks a lot for watching i'll leave a little link up there to subscribe don't forget to do the same to cox's channel down there and subscribe to him uh thanks a lot for watching and bye for now